30 minutes trading strategy. If you listen to this video to the end, your trading will be on, a on another level. Like I have really loved 30 minutes trading strategy. And uh, this means using 30 minutes time frame. So if you wanted to be a scalper and you keep telling me, oh, your strategy has for swing. Now this is the video for you. You have to watch this video because uh, this strategy requires you to be on the 30 minutes. Entry is from 30 minutes. Pattern is from 30 minutes. Exits, entry, TP, everything is from 30 minutes. But you need to understand, I don't go on 30 minutes to look for these setups, no. I will use, for you to trade 30 minutes, you need to use four hour time frame. Uh, for me, I say four hour equals 30 minutes. What do I mean? I first analyze my four hour time frame. I first understand what is my four hour telling me? What is the trend? Who, I, who is in control? How is the structure? How is the market happening? And then once now I'm convinced that buyers are in control and maybe there's a retracement happening, that's when I will flip to 30 minutes. So in this case, uh, uh, this is GBPAUD and I was trading GBPAUD and I applied the same thing. So as you can see, on four hour, the buyers have started to come in. How do you know buyers have started to come in when they start to break resistance? Anytime in the market resistance is broken, buyers are coming in. Anytime resistance is broken again. And, and, and remember, there's a video I have done and I say, anytime resistance is broken, just go to lower time frame to look for what the market wants to do. So here, uh, market broke the first time and then came again. Oh, not there. Sorry, sorry, it has not broken. I'm not supposed to put at this, uh, I'm supposed to put at this area. So the first time we can see resistance breaking and the second time we can see resistance breaking. So I was trading, uh, there's so many ways to trade this pattern. You can trade it as a double top, but because in this video, I don't want us to trade the double top pattern and I don't want to trade it on four hour. I just want to show you that how can you trade it, uh, a buy on, on 30 minutes, okay? So how do you know the trend is a buy when the first resistance broke? You can see the first resistance broke. So if I go to lower time frame, like three hours time frame, you can see the same resistance that has not been broken on four hours, it has been broken on lower time frame. So here, yes, you can see a resistance getting broken. And this, I think that's what happened even on, on daily. Sometimes four hour can break, but daily has not broken. So you can't assume a resistance breaking on four hour because daily has not broken. So that is exactly what is happening. Anytime you notice some weeks on four hour, you can see we have so many weeks here because we are approaching, we have approached this resistance so many weeks. Just flip on lower time frame to see did the market break? And you can see very well, we have some breaking. When you go, you start going down on lower time frame, we have some breaking. If I go to two hours, did the same resistance break? So when I go to two hours, there's no resistance break. When I go to one hour, there's a resistance break. So it's like this resistance, uh, different time frames are tending to break it. Other time frames are not breaking it. And then when I go now to my 30 minutes, that's exactly where I want uh, to go. You can see not only 30 minutes have broken the major resistance, even the other resistance has been broken. And this is the key, guys. Anytime you want to trade a time frame and you want to trade a buy trade, you have to have evidence that the market has broken resistance. There is no way I can go to 30 minutes and I want to trade and there is no evidence of resistance getting broken. There is no evidence of buyers having in control. So only 30 minutes have broken twice. You can see only 30 minutes the market has broken like that. And that means a lot. One hour you go, even one hour they have broken, two hours they have not even broken any resistance, three hours they have broken, four hours they have not. So if you want to trade four hour, you have to know which side do you want to add, 30 minutes, which side do you want to trade? Of course, you can't come to trade sell, uh, sell market on 30 minutes when it is clearly the buyers are in control. So again, now we want to trade 30 minutes. 
we want to trade 30 minutes. And the market broke. I told you, when the market breaks like this, it is going to any support zone to create a double bottom. So we have the first area. The market can come to that first area. And then we have the next area. This is the next area the market can come to. So we know that this, what the market is, is doing is a retracement. So the question is, how do you trade on 30 minutes? Understand, we have not gone directly to 30 minutes. First, we have gone to four hours and we have seen the buyers broke. The market was around here and they broke this ranging. Can you see there is a ranging here? The market broke out of that ranging. And now on four hours, they are not able to break their butt. On lower time frame, the resistance has been broken. That's why we are looking for buy on lower time frame, and that is our 30 minutes. So I have marked my two zones. I don't know which one will be uh, will be reactive. I don't know which one will be reactive. So if you have never thought that you can use four hours stroke 30 minutes, this is the video for you guys. This is the video. So I have placed my ellipse. The ellipse is just to highlight what is happening if I start flipping around. So I want you to pay attention and tell me which area do you do you think the market will react to? We have two areas. So the when I go to one hour, the first area is still available. The second area is not. Meaning which one is OPT? Now here is where you apply OPT because if a double bottom is on one hour and it's on 30 minutes, that double bottom, I will trade it using one hour time frame. If I come also on two hours, and I still find the first zone is still available on two hours. And then I come to three hours and see what is happening is still available on three hours. My conclusion, the first zone is weak. Anytime a zone is appearing, and a zone I mean a support area, is appearing from three hours, two hours, one hour, it means that zone is weak. Sellers can come and break it. But let's now check from, from the 30 minutes, the other zone. So let's check this zone. So the first one you have seen, it is available. What about the second one? Because anytime you want to trade a double bottom and you want to make money, trade it if that double bottom is not on a higher time frame. So if I go to one hour, do I see any support? This is green, green, green. There is no support. There is no uh, red, green, like here, red, green. So 30 minutes, it's available, and one hour, it's not. So the only way, the only way to trade 30 minutes strategy is when the support that you have found on 30 minutes, it's not on. So if I want to trade a 30 minute double bottom, I'm not supposed to find it on one hour. I'm not supposed to find it on two hours. I'm not supposed to find it on three hours. And above all, I'm not supposed to find it on four hours. If I will trade, uh, if I will trade the 30 minutes, it has to be exclusive only on 30 minutes. So can we agree the double bottom is not on one hour? If it was on one hour, you can trade it on 30 minutes. So for it, for a strategy to be traded on 30 minutes, the first thing is not supposed to be on one hour. Let's go on two hours. Tell me. Do I have a, a support there? I don't have a support. So at the end of the day, it's not on two hours. We'll still continue. I go that three hours. Is, is it on the three hours? No. And then final one. Is it on four hour? No. So 30 minutes win. If ever you find something like that, like you have a double bottom only on 30 minutes, it's not on one hour, two hours. Comment down below. Come back to this video. Comment down below and say thank you. You have given me a new strategy for free, guys. And remember, remember these strategies. Uh, I have eight strategies that I teach in my mentorship program. If you want to buy my course, it's $400. If you want to come for physical class, I, I am based in Kenya. The March class starts on date 11. So you can plan, like last class on Feb, I had a Botswana student who had come all the way from Botswana. Jan class, I had Malawi students. I'm so eager to know, March class, March, March class, class of grace. Who is it? They, 
I, I am sub, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to see the international students that I will get from which country. I can just imagine, like I'm ready to teach you all. So if you want to buy my course, you can just use the number that I have pinned. Anyway, now we have known 30 minutes. And le let's see, this, the first one, even the market has not activated either, but you can tell which one the market will come to. So the market comes like that, activate the first one, and we cannot be trading it on 30 minutes. So we wait and see. And as we are waiting, and as we are waiting, you can see on one hour what is happening. The market, the, the, the market is still on one hour and two hours has reacted. So even if I play it on one hour, you will see what happens. Again, they have not activated the last one, but for me, I always feel that they have now activated. They have now activated the, the, the 30 minutes and this is what happens because they cannot leave it like this. If they leave it like this, they will confuse even themselves because we don't know if they want to trade it from one hour or 30 minutes. What they have to do is to break. They have to violate. They have to violate the first one. So once they violate the first one, like if you come to two hours, they have not yet violated. So they will have to violate for you to see. Let's go to 30 minutes and see what is happening. Can you see? So. One hour has not been violated, so you cannot trade it. Let's see what has happened. Can you see one hour has been violated? This is what I was telling you guys. Anytime you have a double bottom that is on one hour and still on 30 minutes, don't start trading 30 minutes when one hour you are not sure it has violated. Now, can you say this is a double bottom on one hour? No, it has been violated, the first one. When I go to two hours, the two hours, it's looking like that. It has not yet violated. So let's see on two hours what will happen. So two hours, they have not yet violated it. So you can see one hour, they have violated. Two, 30 minutes, they have violated. And this is what happens. Now we want to trade this trade using 30 minutes time frame. The market has activated 30 minutes one, two, three. What else do you want, guys? What else? And you can tell, you can say, I may not get to enter. I may not get to enter at the beginning of the trade around here. Because even me, I'm not sure if the same double bottom can be used as a cup and handle or it can be used as a buy. So when I go to one hour, they have violated. So the market has activated the 30 minutes. So I'm there on the 30 minutes waiting for half to be broken. What do you think happened here, guys? What do you think happened here? The market did what? It broke our half. And this is what I've been telling you. Anytime half is broken, the next zone, the next zone, guys, we are going to the neckline. So the next take profit is the neckline. Anytime half breaks, the next zone is the neckline. So if you entered immediately after that breaking, you are getting how many pips? 41 pips. So let's see uh, the 41 pips, how it will be. So this is the only way to trade 30 minutes. Like that. So let's see what really happened. Uh, for stop loss, make sure you use ATR to know your targets. For me, I use ATR. Sometimes I don't use stop loss. Sometimes I use more so when I'm putting a higher lot. So sorry about that. Um, what I was saying is that make sure you use your ATR to know how to, to target your area. So you can see the market drops and this is not exactly where I would put my stop loss because it can be tapped. I'm just showing you my take profit. Um, so in short, what happened to this trade? The market hit the take profit. You can see 
if you target, you can see this week, this is to remove the stop loss. Stop loss, when the market breaks half, the last zone is here. So I don't know why people would put a stop loss in the first area and it will be stopped out. So this is not a video to show you how to put stop loss. It's a video to show you how to enter. And you can see, guys, what happened is that once the market uh, hit our neckline, the neckline was broken. Can you see that neckline was broken? So what we do, again, here you can use, um, we call it what? You can use, you can use BW strategy. If you don't have BW strategy, you can use the retracement and yeah, you can you can use the retracement to enter the second entry. So we are we are hoping to enter the second entry. And TP3 is what is guaranteed. TP3 is what is guaranteed. So what I'll do, I will do another video on the 30 minute strategy so that you can really understand. So once the neckline is broken. Once the neckline is broken, because this part I teach it in my class, we'll just assume you have used the BW strategy and we are targeting to the to the neck to the second trade. So the market goes like that and the take profit is hit. Guys, understand one thing. A double bottom, anytime you have a double bottom and it's on 30 minutes, the key thing to check is not supposed to be the double bottom is not supposed to be on four hour. So if I'm trading this double bottom, I'm not supposed to find it on four hour. That is the, the main thing. Are you seeing it on four hour? It's not on four hour. So anytime I want to trade 30 minutes, my double bottom should not be available on four hours, two hours, three hours. Even when you, you come and see on three hours, this is what happened. This double bottom is not available. Can you see? There was no double bottom even on three hours. So it was not available any time frame. You can see even on two hours, there's no that double bottom. So that's the only way to trade effectively 30 minutes. And I don't know why I feel I need to do multiple videos on 30 minutes to help the scalpers, guys. And I told you guys, if, you, if we hit 100,000 subscribers, I might teach you one of the strategies that I teach in class. So the only thing you can do is to subscribe, share this video, and hope because we are in the month of grace, YouTube will suggest my videos. People will, will find my content interesting. They, they subscribe. And once we hit 100,000 subscribers, trust me, I will share with you one of the strategies that I teach in my class. So you, you need to understand if... Only we were pending on this double top. I have so much knowledge and I can only share with anyone who comes to my class. Like if, if we, we are pending on this double top, we'll be waiting for the market either to break neckline to go to the half. But on 30 minutes, there was a double bottom that we could not see on the four hour. That means a lot, guys. And do you know this is a strategy that I've been teaching in my class? And that strategy, I am calling it destructive obstacle and reversal obstacle. Those are my two new strategies that I have combined. And in short, it is RBS strategy. So the, the destructive obstacle, the reversal obstacle, the RBS strategy, it's like God giving me more details on, on everything so that I can be able to teach it once uh, at all. The Feb, this year is when I started to teach destructive and reversal obstacle. If you want the month of March to learn destructive obstacle, uh, reverse obstacle. Because if you're on, on four hour, how would you have known the market will buy and there's nothing you're seeing? So you have to know anytime you're trading the market, the market can give you destructive obstacle or reverse obstacle, or the market can give you OPT. OPT is one pattern on one time frame. Like there's so much, like I feel like my head can burst with this knowledge. But you see, the minute you give this knowledge for free, majority of people, they don't appreciate. And again, if you come to my class and you have paid, I can give everything that I have been given by God because I know even if I deposit it to you, God will always give me back. You can imagine no one can limit the Holy Spirit. And because me, my mentor is the Holy Spirit, he cannot be limited. Anyway, guys, 
all the best hope you will uh use the 30 minutes in the next video i will still do a 30 minute uh strategy to help you understand more all the best guys love you bye bye see you in the next one